Why was the American public given such divergent accounts of what caused these attacks? And why is it so hard to get information from the very government these four men represented, served, and sacrificed for? Even after an accountability review board and a half dozen congressional investigations, these and other questions still lingered. And these questions lingered because previous investigations were not thorough. This committee is the first committee to demand access to the emails to and from Ambassador Chris Stevens. How could an investigation possibly be considered serious without reviewing the emails of the person most knowledgeable about Libya? This committee is the first committee, the only committee, to uncover the fact that Secretary Clinton exclusively used personal email on her own personal server for official business and kept the public record, including emails about Benghazi and Libya, in her own custody and control for almost two years after she left office. Madam Secretary, I understand there are people, frankly, in both parties who have suggested that this investigation is about you. Let me assure you it is not, and let me assure you why it is not. This investigation is about four people who were killed representing our country on foreign soil. We would be much closer to finding out what happened in writing the final definitive report if Democrats on this committee had helped us just a little bit pursue the facts. But if the Democrats on this committee had their way, dozens of witnesses never would have been interviewed, your public record would still be private. Thousands of documents never would have been accessed. And we wouldn't have the emails of our own ambassador. That may be smart politics, but it is a lousy way to run a serious investigation. The Republican chairman of the House Intelligence Committee conducted an extensive bipartisan two-year investigation and issued a detailed report. The Senate Intelligence Committee and the Senate Homeland Security Committee also conducted a bipartisan investigation. The problem is that the Republican caucus did not like the answers they got from those investigations. So they set up this select committee with no rules, no deadline, and an unlimited budget. And they set them loose, Madam Secretary, because you're running for president. The select committee has spent 17 months and $4.7 million of taxpayer money. We've held four hearings and conducted 54 interviews and de depositions. Yes, we have received some new emails from Secretary Clinton, Ambassador Stevens, and others. And yes, we have conducted some new interviews. But these documents and interviews do not show any nefarious activity. In fact, it's just the opposite. The new information we have obtained confirms and corroborates the core facts we already knew from eight previous investigations. 